Shabbat Shalom, everybody. I, I hope you all had a really nice Hanukkah. It, it was so nice seeing so many of you over the course of the holiday. Uh, in what at times seems like a really dark world, every time we gathered together, we lit the candles together. Uh, it was a tremendous source of light and brightness uh, in my life and in the life of our community. So in our Torah portion this week, we, we tell the story of Joseph, who is known as a dreamer. And not only did he have dreams, Joseph got a reputation for interpreting our dreams. And in our Torah portion, he interprets Pharaoh's dreams of seven fat cows being swallowed up by seven skinny ones. And he's able to predict that there will be seven years of plenty followed by seven years of famine. And as a result, he implements a plan. And he takes steps, he takes action, he sets up a vision, and he helps Egypt survive and thrive during what could have been an incredibly difficult year of sparsity. And I can't help but draw parallels to our Torah portion and Joseph's experience uh, and, and what we are experiencing here at the Mary Jewish Center. Right, one of the most important lessons that I think we learned from Joseph is that it's not enough just to dream and to have a vision. We have to take steps. We have to take action to turn those dreams into a reality. It was Theodore Herzl that taught us in tier two, Ein Zolag that if we will it, it is no dream. I have a dream for my family, for the Mary Jewish Center. We all have dreams for our lives and what our community can look like. And I can't tell you how excited and honored I am to be working with each and every one of you to roll up our sleeves, to take those steps, to put together a plan and to implement it so that just like Egypt during the famine, the Merit Jewish Center will continue to grow, will continue to thrive into the vibrant and to the meaningful and to the engaging and to the beautiful community that it is and has the potential to be. Wishing you all a Shabbat Shalom.